you know people come to church sunday after sunday and they worship god worship and sing but do you know what is true worship four things true worship is having a pure heart second clean hands third no vain mind mind is not into vanity fourth no playing with people's emotions you don't play with people's emotions so many preachers and pastors you know they manipulate their messages their prophecies and their words trying to play with people's emotions god is here anointing is here he's blessing you sometimes it is not god it is only preacher manipulating if god is there sometimes even if you don't mention god will work he'll change people's lives mark these four things pure heart pure motives clean hands pure service clean service some people think worship is only just praising god praising god no it involves service you serve one another with clean hands no vain mind putting mind in vanity you see some women just vain talks just talk worldly things material things whole talk is only vanity vain mind and the fourth thing you don't play with people's emotions Psalm 24 verse 3 Who may ascend the mountain of the Lord who may stand in his holy presence The one who has clean hands a pure heart who has not set his mind on what is false vanity and fourth thing who has not sown deceitfully doesn't make false promises playing with people's emotion Do you know how the message bible reads It says clean hands pure hearts men who don't cheat women and women who don't seduce men men don't cheat and women don't seduce now do you know what is worship men don't cheat not only cheating on women but you don't cheat anywhere in your working place in your church with money you don't cheat some cheaters are here you cheat people but then you come to church and say oh praise the lord thank you jesus god watches your heart god sees your heart you got to set right those things it's not just enough you repented before god and then you sing and praise but you got to set right your record set right those things after hearing this kind of messages people go back and set right things You hardly hear people talking these things. We only hear blessing messages, only one track message. People you want revival, it's not just getting right with God, but getting right with people. Set right your past records with all others where you have destroyed. Some people do all the mischief and nonsense with many Christian organizations. and in many places and then they come to church and repent and they say well everything is all right now i will live for god no go back and set right your record with all those people where you played the fool and did so much of damage there got to be restoration restitution in every way not just words saying okay i am i have repented before god go back to your relatives go back to your people your employer sometimes sometimes your employee whom you put into trouble whom you damaged so many families are destroyed christian organizations are destroyed churches are broken because somebody has manipulated and damaged everything and then finally they go one fine day they say well i have repented i went to this meeting i repented i have come back to christ and then they hold their bible go everywhere give their testimony what about all the damage that you did we got to set things right why am i telling these things if you have done something like this even 10 years back 15 years back and now you thought that it's all over now i am in very good church growing in the lord i plead with you you go back to that person go back to that organization or to the church say those days i was not mature something was wrong with me i was not in the lord i have done wrong please forgive me i repent if there is financial loss i'll see if god gives me back i'll repay or see i have done this 
and you come back you see how god will bless you god's hand is not short that he cannot bless you neither is ear deaf that he cannot hear you it is our sins that have separated us from our god god is speaking you said right things what all you remember if there's anything like this just said right everything come before god come here you see how god will bless you you see what will happen what purity of heart what clean hands how mercy will come upon you miracles will happen in your life maybe some blessing is withheld in your life probably somewhere you did something and that has been a blockage why don't you humble yourself repent before god and before people i have sinned against god and i have sinned against you what a beautiful way of repentance i have sinned against god i have sinned against you you saw who have clean hands pure hearts you know you can stand in the holy place of god you are the worshipers